Oh, we just finished our last official climb of the desert. And we, nothing but downhill and then flat relatively to Kenya Meadows. Just still pretty far, we won't get there tomorrow. Unless we decide to do 22 today, which I sincerely doubt since it's not even 10 and it's already really hot. Unfortunately today it didn't feel good. Um, slept okay, not great, but um, woke up. Was able to usually uh, eat my complete cookie. Um, felt okay. Drank almost a liter before we left. And then I just felt... It's like I have stomach... I wouldn't say uncomfortable. Eh, uncomfortable. Not pain. Just feels like I have a lot of... Like gas... Uncomfortability. Um, we had two... 0.5 to water so um, it just was that 2.5 I just couldn't catch my breath um, when you're breathing hard and you feel like your ears are underwater I was doing that I had to stop often um, got to the water source I was like, well, maybe I'm just, I don't have any energy. So I tried to eat, I couldn't eat. I tried my bagel and just no want to try that. Um, I didn't want to, didn't feel nauseous, but I didn't want to throw up, so I didn't force it. I was able to eat like two pieces of string cheese, but I drank, drinking okay, so I drank almost a liter. And then, um, with the water and stuff, I felt a little bit better. I was able to finish the climb, like four point something without really resting. It got really hot, but the climb was kind of gradual, so it wasn't too bad. And I just have a lot of gas. But I hope there's not something else going on. Um, we'll see if I can eat later. Um, we got about six downhill to water. So I'll get there and just hydrate and see if I can eat. This kind of sucks because Kenny Meadows is real out of the way if I need to go to the hospital or something. But we'll see. It's a great way to start my birthday, right? The funny thing is, like, my feet feel great. Well, not great, but, like, everything doesn't really hurt. Um, so, it's the first time I had really, like, a stomach thing. So, we'll see. It's hot. Maybe it's just the dehydration. And I tried to drink a lot last night. I thought I was doing okay. Um, pee doesn't look bad, so I'm not sure. We'll see. See how it gets to when we get to the water. Right. Happy birthday to me. Peace. So, recap for day 72. Um, I only did about 12.4. Um, as scheduled, um, we knew it was a big up and down, and then this was the first water spot. Um, there's a 2700 up. Um, and then um, we got to this creek, and they had some, a lot of spots, but there was no, sh there was hardly any shade, as to say. Um, we kind of got a spot that was kind of nestled in between two huge bushes, and we were able to get probably the best shade out of this whole place. Um, on one side, we got here at like 12, um, so it was pretty early. 
and then when the sun moved we were able to switch to the other side um it was unbearably hot like we couldn't hike if we wanted to to keep going uh, I s probably 95 degrees it felt like um it was just it, it was at 12 o'clock i mean just laying uh, in the shade um just sweating miserable and hot and basically we had to just sit there for five hours and wait for it to cool down um, where we finally got enough shade to set the tents up because you can't go in the tent you'll just die um, so it's pretty pretty miserable day altogether honestly um, didn't feel good in the morning then I felt better and then we just did the hike real quick before it it was, you know, this just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And then, um, kind of like on the way down, there just was no shade. There was like one spot, like a couple miles from here. And, um, that was it. So we didn't really have any place to really stop. We just kind of barreled down the mountain to get here as fast as possible. And we were hoping there would be a lot more shade here. And it's just... I mean, there's no real trees. It's just like 12 foot tall bushes kind of spread out. Um, and then just basically sweated and tried not to move for five hours, which is no fun at all. I mean, even getting out of the shade to go to the water, just unbearable. I can't imagine people hiking in this. It's, it's incredible. And I don't even think this is supposed to be the hottest yet. So kind of worried about that. Um, we got about 10 miles tomorrow to get into Kennedy Meadows. Um, but if it's this hot there, it's I mean, here it's going to be that hot there. So we decided to get up and go at four um, and try to get most of the heat. Um, get into Kennedy Meadows South before most of the heat comes. Uh, I think I'm still pretty dehydrated. Um, I think we drank like two liters when we got here, and then I've had a couple more, and I still feel like it's not enough. So, um, that my stomach feels better. I had a good dinner, and um, I think that's about it. There's not much to write home on my birthday, unfortunately. Just hot hot and hot and if this continues for like the next week I'm not sure what we're gonna do um plan is to go to Kenny Meadows and figure out the weather and how hot it will be going into the Sierra because I'm not adding five pounds a year and then going up in elevation and it being still pretty hot so um hoping Beacon and Sea Day are in Kenny Meadows they were last there, but that was a couple of days ago. And yeah, hopefully, you see them and maybe figure out. Um, I don't know if I want to stay in Kenny Meadows because you basically tent the whole time, and that's going to be pretty miserable. So, I might try to figure out a way to get into town and maybe stay, try to ride out some of this heat wave uh, and get some rest. And again, been going pretty strong since Hiker Town. About 150 miles without too many zeros, so um, maybe get some zeros in uh, and get back out here when the weather is better. And even if it's next week, I mean, we're still before June 15th, so we have some time. This heat's going to melt a lot of that snow, which will make it even easier for us. At least the snow parts might make the rivers a little bit more, but maybe um, give some of the River's time for the melt to go down a little too. I don't know. A lot of things can happen um, tomorrow or the next day. And I'll try to figure it out and then uh, see what our plan is. And getting started in this year, I'm excited, but also kind of dreading how hot it is. If it's anything like today, I mean, you don't want to do anything. So I'm hoping that Canadian Meadows has a place where you can maybe stay indoors and stay cool relatively. And if it doesn't, I have to peace out of here for a bit. So um, we'll 
we'll see. We'll get up early and get in there and check it out. Um, at least I'm looking forward to not doing any more of this shit. I can't imagine people that are, you know, hundreds of miles back or even starting. I think people are starting the last couple of weeks. They must be dying, so feel bad for them. I couldn't do it, that's why I started early. So, all right, we'll see you tomorrow and see what happens. Peace.